All right, let's try another intro. For the October update, I'm having trouble with the ESS function, the auto stop start. Um, what happened was a couple weeks ago during the middle of softball season, I'm just driving the Jeep back and forth to the ball fields. I don't go anywhere during ball season. But uh, driving back and forth up there, the little A light come on and it said server stop start system. So I got my meter out, checked my voltage. My aux battery voltage was way low down in the 11s. Main battery voltage was in the 12s. You know, it was like 12.3 or something like that, 12.2. So outside of that point, well, I had bad aux battery and I tried charging both of them. They both popped a red light on my charger for a uh, bad battery. So I was like, all right, time to replace them. I'm not replacing both. I've already had this termed a long time ago. I'm gonna delete the aux battery, go to one battery, disable, stop, start. So I did that. We now have an Odyssey. Everything's going great, except it's not functioning correctly. So I've tried three different ways to bypass the aux battery and none of them have given me the correct function. So I guess I'm reaching out to everybody on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of YouTube videos out there how to do this. There are several different methods covered. And for some reason, none of them working on my Jeep. So I don't know if I have another issue on top of a bad battery. Or if something due with this being... This is the first year. It's a 2018. It's five years old. 3.6. I don't know if it's something to do with this first year. Maybe something was wired different. I know the ground terminals are not where they show a lot of people's videos. They swap the cables. Figure that out with some troubleshooting on a multimeter over there. So I'm looking for advice, looking for help on this one. Uh, you got any ideas, let me know. I'll show you what I've done so far. Look, mount stuck. All right. We have the Odyssey battery upgrade. The first method I did was I just put this battery in and I disconnected the aux battery and I taped off the terminals. Well, that don't work. The Jeep wouldn't start. Did some more researching, found out you had to disconnect the ground terminal up here, and then pull the 42 fuse. I did that. The Jeep actually ran fine. And the problem I ran into with that was after driving it for about a day or two, it wasn't charging the battery no more. The battery would start off, when I start Jeep up, I'd be at 14 volts, fine, running around. Over the course of driving it, it'd run itself down to 12 volts. So that tells me the alternator is working, otherwise it would have never read 14 volts. So it's not that I have a bad alternator that somehow or another it wasn't charging the battery. I thought to myself, well, I've pulled fuses, I've hacked the system. I need to just put it back as close to the factory as I can. So I did some more research. I decided to put the fuse back in and I sense where I'm at right now. I jumpered N1 and N2 fuses together. It's got a 20 amp fuse or a 25 amp fuse in there now. It was 20. I've checked it. The fuse is good. It ain't blowing the fuse, nothing. So I've got N1 and N2 buses jumpered together. So this should command the aux or the main battery to supply battery voltage to both the main battery bus and the aux battery bus. Um, and it works. I actually drove the Jeep. I put 20, 30 miles on it with it running like this. But again, today, I came back home from my daughter's doctor appointment. And uh, she's healed, by the way. If you watch softball videos, she's playing. But uh, she's still going to physical therapy. So we came back home from that. And on the way home, I said, let me put the Jeep up, the menu up, and check the battery. Check the battery, I'm at 12.9 volts. I was like, that's not good. It should be. And it was at 14.4 when I left to go to the house. And again, it's only seven miles that way to physical therapy. So I don't know what's going on here. This is baffling me. I don't know which route I'm going to go yet with this. So uh, I'm looking for pointers, looking for tips. If you got any ideas. The one thing I did not do, and I'm going to try it now, was I'm going to take the fender liner back off. I'm going to build a jumper from the aux battery terminal, I'm gonna run it up here and connect it to the positive terminal on this battery. I mean, but that should do the same thing as this jumper here. Schematically, I don't see how that's gonna be any different, but we're gonna try it and see. It's the only thing I haven't done yet. But if you got any ideas, let me know. I'm uh, gonna post this on YouTube and I'll share it to a couple of the groups I'm in with the Jeeps and see what kind of feedback I can get. Because this is baffling me. I really want to delete the auto stop start function and delete that aux battery. I wouldn't mind two batteries that are both the same size. And I actually looked into that Genesis setup, but Jesus, I don't want to pay that much money. <laughs> so I just went with one battery. I was like, yeah, I'd be fine. I'm going to do that and just get the two to run together. So if you got any ideas, let me know. Uh, as we say on this channel, Jeeps be jeeping, but uh, this Jeep here ain't jeeping. The reason why we got to rush on this before we go is uh, next week is the last week of softball season. And so after that, I supposed to be going to Georgia's reverse ride up through Trey Mountain area. 
Unicoi Park in Charlie's Creek with Wicked Jeeps. That's coming up in a week or two. Wicked Jeeps is going to Sonoya Jeep Fest at the end of the month. I'm supposed to go in there. And then I'm by myself was going to go do an overlanding trip in the Cahutta Wilderness in the first week of November. Spend a couple days up there. And uh, I'm not doing that with a Jeep doing this. That's for sure. So i got to figure this out. I'm running out of time with this. And uh, we need to figure this one out. So I'm looking for pointers, looking for ideas. If you've got any, hit me back. Let me know. This is uh, 1870 Off-Road on YouTube. I post it on Facebook. I don't really use my Facebook for anything other than softball. So I'll post it there and there's some groups local here around Georgia. But, uh, you know, find 1870 Off-Road on YouTube or even on uh, Instagram. Let me know. That's all I got. Let's get this Jeep jeeping.